So you're playing Genshin Impact and you've built a team around elemental reactions. You mix and match a lot of different elements and you switch between them very quickly to trigger elemental reactions. But for some reason, they just don't seem to work. So today I will explain the mechanics of how internal cooldowns work for applying elements onto enemies. The first thing to realize is that the internal cooldown doesn't apply to specific elemental reactions, but instead applies to each character's specific attack and the specific enemy. This means that different enemies will have different cooldowns and different characters in your party will have separate cooldowns. And also in most situations, each of your characters' different attacks have separate cooldowns as well. This means if you switch between characters really quickly to trigger elemental reactions, the cooldown shouldn't even apply in most situations. Situations. The cooldown only comes into play when you're using the same character on the same enemy. Situations like this can actually arise in a lot of different ways. For example, you're trying to use Pyro on an enemy in water to trigger Vaporize. However, because of the internal cooldowns, not every hit actually triggers Vaporize. So understanding the internal cooldowns of applying elements can really help optimize your gameplay. The internal cooldown is only for applying elements to enemies or triggering elemental reactions. This means that there is no cooldown for doing damage. You can still do elemental damage, but the elemental damage will just not apply any elements. Most attacks of most characters have their own cooldown, but there are some exceptions, such as the charge attacks of bow characters and the charge attacks of catalyst users. These charge attacks don't have a cooldown, so every hit will actually apply an element or trigger an elemental reaction. Some skills and bursts of some other characters also have this exception where they don't have a cooldown, so every hit can actually trigger an elemental reaction. For example, using the Luke's skill, you can actually trigger elemental reactions on all three of his attacks. The internal cooldown is counted in two separate ways. The first way is a hit counter, which means there's a certain number of hits you have to do before you can apply an element again. For most attacks, this number is 3. This means that every 3 attacks you hit will apply an element or trigger an elemental reaction. The second way is a time counter, which means if it's been a certain period of time, usually 2.5 seconds after the previous attack that triggered an elemental reaction, then the next attack will also trigger an elemental reaction. These two counters actually run simultaneously, so you can run into situations where two consecutive hits can both trigger elemental reactions due to the two counters aligning. To test out the internal cooldown. For example, at the Electro Hypostasis, so if we infuse Hu Tao with Pyro, so here the first attack triggers Overload, the second and the third hit doesn't trigger Overload, the fourth hit triggers Overload because the hit counter is at 3, and then the next hit also triggers Overload because the time counter is at 2.5 seconds. Because the cooldown for the hit counter is only 3, this means that if we can hit the enemy more than 3 times with the same attack, we can actually trigger elemental reactions twice with the same attack. Now in Genshin, skills that can trigger more than 3 hits at the same time is pretty rare. The only one I found is using Diona's Hold E. Diona's E shoots 5 paws which mostly hit the enemies at the same time with cryo damage. This means that if the first paw triggers an elemental reaction, by the fourth paw the hit counter will be up and it should be able to trigger an elemental reaction again. So if we test this on an enemy that's infused with enough pyro, we can actually see that her E triggers melt 2 times. Although the game's text only says the melt occurs once, this is actually a bug with the game since the elemental reactions are happening too fast, the text isn't displayed properly. But by the damage numbers, you can see that indeed two of the damage numbers is 1.5 times the damage of the other attacks. The cooldown also functions if the character's normal attacks have been infused by another element. For example, using Chunyun's E, we can convert Hu Tao's attacks into Cryo. So after applying Cryo with Hu Tao and then infusing with Pyro, you can see that the first hit doesn't actually trigger Melt because it's still in the cooldown. So in conclusion, we can see that using different characters with different attacks is better than using the same character with the same attacks repeatedly. Although for most characters, the cooldown for the hit counter is 3 hits and the cooldown for the time counter is 2.5 seconds. There are some specific attacks from several characters that are exception to this. This exception applies to Fischl's Oz and Venti's Q, both of which have their own special cooldowns that are different from the rest of the group. These cooldowns can be found on the wiki page, so I'll link that webpage in the description. Many people will tell you that internal cooldowns apply to applying elements and not directly to elemental reactions, but that's not entirely true. You see, elemental reactions do have an internal cooldown, but only when they apply to you you, not to enemies. This means that if an enemy triggers an elemental reaction on your characters, then a certain amount of time has to pass before that certain elemental reaction can be triggered again on the same character. This is to prevent multiple enemies from comboing on you with endless elemental reactions. That would be really annoying. Other than that, I'll see you next time.